Okay, I have some uh, onions with some garlic and a lot of spices. A lot of spices. I like spices, some curry, some, some ginger, some paprika powder, some chili. Ah, I forgot the chili. Somebody stole my chili. Ah, chili, chili powder, chili powder. What would life be without salt? Fry them nicely. Uh, maybe a little bit of more, more olive oil. I already did some olive oil, olive oil, but it's good for the immune system. Olive oil is good for the immune system. We have some sweet potatoes. How did you they, make them? How did you make them? I put them in. I I wash them, just under the under the Sink. tap. Yeah. Tac tac. It's a few taps. Step. I step them with a knife. And then we put them in the oven like 180 degrees, depending on the size. This was only like one hour. Just I tap them with a knife and when they're really soft like butter inside, then they're ready to go. This blender, funny story. It's like a UK blender. <laughs> funny story, story, I wanted to become world champion. And I just did full option. I went very early to the to the to Yorkshire and uh, I rented some houses and I just made myself at home. I bought uh, everything I needed, including a blender. Sadly, this happened. And uh, this is like a souvenir. I never used it since then. I found it back now. So now I gonna I gonna peel my sweet potatoes. First I get the ends off. Yeah, let's peel them. They're nice and soft. How I like them. But important is to wait till they're a bit cool down so you can it's like a bit like a dead body now they are peeled nicely oh it's hard for me to not eat them right now because they're so nice and soft and this is actually real sweet potato they're super sweet right now i fry them with my onions what would food be without spices as you can see, I already used this tin foil. I'm a green guy. Bye. Bye. So they they are nice and sweet, and and we we fry them with the onions. You can hear the sound. Let's fry them. We want to get the taste into the sweet potato, and in fact, we want to get a real good sauce. So we take the pan and we do that. <laughs> Give it some time on the fire. Give it some time. Do you remember the story of this blender? I also love the story. I like frozen veggies. So easy. They are cleaned already. They are very nutritional and you can keep them forever in the fridge. Cool. Is it a soup or is it, is it a sauce? What is the difference between a soup and a sauce? Can somebody please tell me that? It contains a lot of carbs and fat. Very, very good. And we have some veggies. Mm. So now we take the veggies and we just put them on top of the soup. We have Brussels sprouts and also we have one kit in the home. So we don't do the sprouts in this one for the kid. <laughs> because kids don't like sprouts. We will make hummus in 30 seconds. Quickly watch. No bother washing them. Not necessary. We take some salt. We take some pepper. 20 seconds. Ah! It's because of the pepper, it's going slowly. Um, we take some olive oil. We don't use tahini. Sorry for the hummus lovers. We don't use tahini this time. Um, 35 seconds. Because we want the hummus to be real fluid, we take a stick of water. Okay, it was longer. I was too slow. It's very friendly and for children, so we can also do it for the, the kids in the house. And it's nice because the soup is hot and the, and the hummus is cold. We, is, we have different textures, different... Awesome! This was super fast hummus. Who would ever buy hummus in the shop? You would be really very stupid. We can now go for dinner. <laughs>